Thanks for having me. All right, moving forward now. Despite negative perceptions uh, about scavengers, scavengers are finding more ways to make ends meet. Research shows that Nigeria, Nigerian scavengers exported 5.33 billion naira worth of scrap in more than 12 months. Chedami Bami takes a look at the activities of scavengers in Niger State. My journey towards finding some of the people that help to preserve Mother Earth by their work. They are some of the most underrated people, so underrated that they are mostly ignored and considered as nuisance in the society. Many people are even weary of them. They are scavengers and scrap metal collectors. They collect your used cans and bottles. If they don't, the earth will soon be inhabitable for you. It's the dawn of a new day here at this collection point on Tunga. I came quite early so I could catch these men before they set out for the day's job. They find free shelter here and live a communal life. Communal living is part of the people's culture in northern Nigeria, where they sleep together and eat together. As Mohammed sets out for the day's job, he boasts of his identity card given to him by his union. Data sourced from the National Bureau of Statistics quarterly report on foreign trade statistics in 2023 showed that revenue from the sale of cans and aluminium scraps collected from the streets, packaged and exported to countries such as Brazil and South Korea, increased by 19.7% between the fourth quarter of 2022 and the corresponding period of 2023. 1% of the urban population in developing countries makes a living from scavenging. It is one of the oldest economic activities as humans. Solid waste is a fact of life. By simply living, everyone produces waste. The amounts generated and the materials contained in trash vary widely from country to country and changes over time. During most of human history, disposing of waste was not a problem. Before the Industrial Revolution, waste were mostly organic, food and kitchen leftovers. These would rot and become part of the soil. People used organic matter to fertilize agricultural fields and a way of recycling the nutrients. That was a form of scavenging. The invention of plastics brought significant benefits to consumers but also created problems because it can take thousands of years for plastics to decompose. Some plastics can be recovered and recycled but others cannot. In fact, according to specialists, some types of plastics such as soda bottles will hang around forever. These waste pickers take on the responsibilities of picking these non-degradable items and reduce soil and water pollution. Most African countries collect less than half of the waste generated by their inhabitants. Here in Niger State, these waste pickers move from neighborhood to neighborhood to buy waste directly from households before it even gets to the trash. But how do they dispose them? They sell them to make money. We visited this local market called Kaswangwari in Mina, the capital of Niger State, where they sell second-hand items. The end point for majority of the scavengers in town. First, we visited the area disguised as regular visitors to get familiar with the terrain and observe the people because some of the young men here are exposed to substance abuse. A month after, we decided to visit with the whole crew and the people were willing to speak with us. <laughs> Aluminium, Yasan Kofa Waya, Yasan Brice, Akumanas Yoruba, Kunas Yon Quali, 
Seventeen-year-old Amir and Badamasi have dropped out of school and now earn a living here like other children, collecting scrap metals for their bosses. The items they gather are weighed on a scale and they are paid based on the weights. Okay, yeah, but I'm a current. In as well, when I say 300, 11.5, ya kama dari uku ya talatin. We continued the interview until this man in blue jersey mm -hmm. came and insisted to leave the market immediately. We had no option because it appeared he was displeased with our work and we had no form of security. We had to oblige and leave immediately for our own security. Outside this area is a market where fairly used and fabricated items are sold. The raw materials often gotten from the scrap metal collectors. quality. <laughs> can do anything. Most specialists then said, what man can do? A man can do it much better. So, that is it. Okay, how long have you been in this market? This four years. I've been here for at least 30 years. So, we do manage a lot of scrap, maybe as long as they are waste already, we used to turn them to other useful items for use. But waste pickers have daily contact with waste, so they can be smelly and have a raggedly appearance. Many of them are illiterate or have minimal schooling. Not surprisingly, the rest of society usually looks down on them. But a closer analysis of waste picking activities demonstrates that scavengers do make positive contributions to society and with proper support their contributions can be greater. This market might look small but it is grooming and churning out entrepreneurs every day. But you see the people that are here are not just entrepreneurs, I also call them the earth savers. They go to dump sites and waste bin. They pick non-degradable items, they don't only transform them to cash, but they also transform them into everyday items like pots, um, charcoal stove, that could be used as everyday appliances in the home. What can the government do for these people? Make this place industrialized, provide machines for these people, provide training, so that the items that are created here can meet global standards and exports can happen from here. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Mina. Absolutely. Um, you know, those things can be recycled, like he rightly mentioned. They need some form of machines to turn around some of the scrap that they get, which is what uh, state governments can decide to take up. Everything is not federal government as it is. At the state level, I believe the state can handle it and do that for those people. But my concern are those children who had to drop out of school uh, to take up these businesses. Uh, as it is, some of them may not even know their way back home mm. again. You could even see one of them saying that um, he had even school, he has retired, you know, <laughs> from, from Prima 4, uh, how he said it, you know. Yeah. So there is a whole lot that, that, can, that can be brought to, to you know, that sector, to revolutionize the sector and make it, you know, meet up with global standards, you know, mm -hmm. and also ensure that the kids there, it's more, of a, it's more, like, a, more like child abuse. Mm -hmm. The governor of that state and all other states that this kind of things are affecting, mm -hmm. they should ensure that they enroll these students, you know, these, mm -hmm. these children. Perhaps the have a school around yeah. there, educate yeah. them in the process of even mm -hmm. learning this business That's as right. well. Well, our time is up now.